Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to learn about grids and guides and everything related to measurements and the view of the document. In the previous lessons, we talked about opening a new document and everything related to its format, its setup, its general layout, margins, bleeds, and everything else. So for today's lesson, let's begin with creating a text frame right here. Let's type in something like, hello, everybody. As you can see, we have this black margin right here. Once you click on it, it becomes red. But if you do not click on text frame, you still see this margin. This can help you with organizing the space of the document. But if you don't want to see this margin, then let's click on view right here. Let's click on document and let's unflag show frames. In this way, you cannot see the frame, but if you click on it, you'll see the frame so that when you have to move it, you'll know where the frame is going to end up. But if you unclick it, then there's no frame left. Now let's go and flag back show frames right here. But of course, once you go on the preview mode, you cannot see the frame as well as all the margins and the bleeds if there are any. Next up, let's talk about these rulers. As you can see, the zero is here. So here's the origin. But if you click on the left corner, you can change up the origin. So you can have it here. So you're going to have the zero here. Or you can have it back there. And like this, you can move it wherever you most need it. The rulers are measured with millimeters, but you can change the unit so you can have them in inches right here or you can have them in centimeters so whatever really works for you if you press on the ruler and then you slide you're going to create a guideline you can do it horizontal starting from the top or vertical starting from the left right here you can have multiple ones so you can create the frame that really works for you. Now you can see these ones because if we go on view and grids and guides, show guides is flagged. But if we unflag it, then you're not gonna be able to see them. So let's go on show guides. But right here you also have grid. So if you go on show grid, it's going to show you this general grid with all guidelines and this big main square filled with little squares, but you also can have a baseline grid. So this horizontal stripes all over the document. Now, if you zoom out, you're going only to see your guidelines, the one you created, and this main grid with horizontal stripes. One thing that is really important is enabling the snap. So let's click on the right button of your mouse right here and then flag snap to grid and snap to guides and snap to items so once everything is flagged you can move a text frame and you'll see that it's going to get attached to both the guidelines you created the margin and then the the green grid and then also the horizontal stripes and this can help you with the precision of the position of text frames or pictures or everything that you want to move and by unflagging each and every one of those snaps you can see that a text frame will move freely without any precision but of course if you go on preview everything is going to be gone so it really just works for the organization of the whole document now let's open up a template like this for example a newsletter and let's see how everything we learned is applied in an existing document so for example here we have created guidelines so these two and these two and they were both created like this right here and if you go on manage guides you'll see that we have 
two horizontal ones, then three vertical ones. You can add one and you can decide where to put it. So right here, you can also add another one here, add right here. And you can apply these to all pages and you can lock them so you'll have them without the risk of moving them. You can also create columns and rows as we previously saw in, another, in other videos, vertical ones right here. Then you can use gaps between them starting from the page or starting from the margins here too starting from the page starting from the margins exactly and you can also apply these to old pages and then if you want you can delete guides from current page or from old pages so let's click on delete guides from current page so you'll have none of them as you can see you can see the frames but if you go on view and then on text frames, you can unflag it and you're not going to be able to see them. Show frames, and you're not going to be able to see them. And of course, if you go on preview mode, everything is smooth without any of the guidelines or the frames. So let's review what we learned today. We learned about text frames and frames and rulers, unit measures. We learn how to move the origin, so the zero point of the rulers. We learn about how to create guidelines and how to show the grids and the stripes. We learn how to turn on the snap mode to have a more precise organization in the document. And we saw all of these in a already existing document, for example, a template. That's it for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated and see the next videos from this video course about Scribus.